Pivot tables are one of Excel's most powerful features. It is a table of statistics that summarizes the data of a more extensive table. A pivot table is a summary of your data, packed in a chart that lets you report on and explore trends based on your information. A pivot table allows you to extract the significance from a large, detailed data set. In other words, Pivot tables extract meaning from that seemingly endless jumbled of numbers in your screen. It lets you group your data together in different ways so can you draw helpful conclusions on more easily. It is commonly used by organizations to analyze big data so that they can be able to have informed and better decision making. What if we have this big chunk of data taken from an election? It seems like this is a useless data at first, but an organization can use this data to have better and informed decision making for the next election. We have your information such as voter ID, party affiliation, the precinct where the voter voted, age group, last time the voter voted, years of registration, and ballot status. What if for the next election, an organization need to prepare absentee ballots? So they might have a question like, how many absentee ballots do they need to prepare by precinct? To answer that question, a pivot table can be used. To insert a pivot table, place your cursor at A1. Go to Insert tab. In Tables group, click Pivot Table. As you can see, all the information is being highlighted. Click New Worksheet so that the pivot table will be placed in a new sheet. Click OK. Again, the question was, how many absentee ballots do they need to prepare by precinct? To answer that question, we need to have information about the precinct and the ballot status. For our values, we need to have the ballot status. Since we only need the absentee ballot, we need to uncheck Perm and Poll. Click OK. Now they can be able to identify that they need to have 54 absentee ballots all in all. 3 will be given to 2401, 2 will be given to 2402, so on and so forth. What if they have another query? The query is, how many years is the least years of registration per party affiliation? Insert a pivot table, click A1. Go to Insert tab. In Tables group, click Pivot table. Then click OK. We need to have years registered, party affiliation, and years registered. Since we are not finding the sum, but we are finding the least registration, we need to change the value field settings into minimum. Click OK. As you can see, there are two years least Registration for American Independent, one year for Democrat, and two years for Green. Find the total for each ballot status based on every precinct and every year voted. So we need to have the ballot status, the precinct, last voted, and the ballot status. Based on the created table, in precinct 2401, in 6, 2006, there's 1 absentee, 29 permanent, and 23 poll. In 8, 2006, there's 2 absentee, 37 permanent, and 21 poll. So the organization can be able to have better and informed decision making. How many voters for each age range? So we need to have the age group. Age group. So based on the data, 18 to 20, we have 4. 21 to 30, we have 200. 31 to 40, we have 541 voters. By default, pivot table will count the values. If there's a need for you to change the settings, just click Value Field Settings. There are a lot of options here such as Max, Mean, Product, Standard Deviation, and others.